The Nintendo Switch has been out for about four years now. I think it's an awesome system, but has it been pushed to its limits? I've talked about this a bit in some of my live streams. I haven't really done specific videos talking about Switch Pro rumors, but I feel like it's a very capable system, but there's been some games in recent memory that I feel have pushed the system to its limits and the performance suffers a bit. You, you know, the, the newest Hyrule Warriors, there's some you know, frame rate issues and whatnot. I'm sure there's other examples out there, but it's definitely time. We, we need a revision. We need a boost in power. You know, Nintendo's gotten away with it for a long time. You know, all the other systems are more powerful, whatever, but it's about the content. It's the games that can be played on there, what's made for their systems. You know, the Wii kind of proved that. And with the Switch, it's the same thing. You know, they come up with these little gimmicks and whatnot. And, you know, the Switch, I don't necessarily want to consider these things gimmicks, but, you know, it's a handheld or it's a console. I don't really play in handheld mode, but, you know, you got the Joy-Cons, the HD Rumble, all that crazy stuff. There's some neat things going here, but it's time. It's time. So according to this article on Bloomberg.com, Nintendo plans Switch model with bigger Samsung OLED display. So this should be coming out later this year. And there's some interesting information here. Bloomberg, you know, they want me to pay for their articles and that shit ain't happening, man. Do you pay for your porn on the internet? No, I ain't paying for no articles on the internet either. Bloomberg, get a life. Well, obviously somebody's paying for it. I'm sure they're doing all right. But let's get into this. Samsung display will start production of a seven inch panel in June aimed at being ready to come out later this year. Seven inches, you might be saying, that's pretty damn big. But, you know, if you look at what the actual specs are for the current Switch, it has a multi-touch capacitive touchscreen, 6.2-inch LCD at 1280 by 720. So the size-wise, you know, you're getting almost an inch bigger. You know, every inch counts, right? That's what she said. But, you know, they're they're supposedly trying to propel themselves against the Xbox and PS5, but that's that's neither here nor there, as, as the ladies like to say. I find this interesting because no matter what Nintendo does, you're going to have people who are either like, huzzah, motherfucker, awesome, I love this. And then you're going to have people like, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? Nintendo's a garbage company. I get all the arguments on every side of everything, but with this, with this OLED display, you know, you're going to have a brighter screen, crisper, you know, looking screen, but it's still going to be a 720p resolution panel. So many people are going to be like, what the hell's wrong with these guys, man? 720p. What are you thinking, Nintendo? Sure, the screen's going to look better. Is it going to have a more powerful processor and whatnot? Hopefully so. I mean, it seems like that's the case because why would you just put out something with a bigger screen? Oh, Nintendo's done that plenty of times before, but they've also done, you know, little micro upgrades to their consoles type of thing. You know, the 3DS included and, you know, the DS line. There were consoles that could only play certain games. And I think Nintendo may be going with that approach with this as well. So Samsung Display will start mass production of this 720p OLED early as June with initial monthly targets of just under a million units. So they're trying to ramp up. If they're producing them in, in, in June, Nintendo's going to be getting these things to the, the assemblers, says around July. Um, and obviously representatives for Nintendo and Samsung declined to comment. Of course. Why would they comment on your, your paid article, Bloomberg? Holy crap. But if they're getting them out there in June and they're just cycling out there, to produce these consoles for a worldwide launch, they're going to have, you know, a, a nice hefty few million for the holiday season. If people were anticipating this thing coming out this summer, you know, spring, it ain't happening. It's going to be a holiday release. And that's one thing I've been pointing out to people is look at all these special edition consoles they've been putting out. The fork knife one, the Mario one that doesn't really look much like a Mario console. It's red and it's got blue. So many missed opportunities with that console. The Monster Hunter one that's coming out. You can hunt them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got so many damn special editions coming out. I feel like they're doing that to get rid of stock, to pump those out there. Because they're going to have this new bish coming out pretty soon, right? Or at least the end of the year. Nintendo seeks to sustain Switch lineup that continues to sell well against the Xbox and PlayStation. 
they don't necessarily, you know, like I said earlier, they've gotten away with underpowered systems. It's the content. It's some of the gimmicks, you know, that kind of thing. It's that specific library of games and them being able to sell millions upon millions of units and developers wanting to come on board and either poorly porting their their games from the PlayStation 3 or making new games for it. Man, there's a lot of junk on the Switch. Like, don't come at me with that crap. The Switch, oh my God. Have you looked at the eShop? It's full of a bunch of junk. A lot of the ports are not great. The Switch has been a port, like, freaking horror for a little while now. But, you know, you don't have to buy this stuff, so, you know, whatever. But there's a lot of cool games for it. And, you know, them to keep going up against Xbox and PlayStation, it's not about competing with them as far as graphics powerhouse, you know, being a, a, a beast with that kind of thing. It's the content that's provided for that console. And it's like I said earlier, I feel like with the, the system kind of struggling with some newer games, yeah, it's time. You're not, you're not going to get that Xbox and PlayStation, you know, performance. But if like this article says that it's going to be a 4k device when it's plugged into a TV, we'll have to see, but why isn't the display on the unit at least 1080, you know, kind of upscaling the old games and whatnot and having new stuff for, it? I, I don't know. Oh my God. But thanks to pandemic era breakout hits like Animal Crossing and a chip crunch that plagued a supply of rival devices, yeah, Nintendo's got, you know, some really old tech going on here. They had piles of that stuff lying around. Let's keep building them. Actually, they did have kind of a, a you know, a, a period of time where there wasn't enough switches out there. Motherfuckers were selling them for like five, six hundred dollars. Crazy scalping shit like three, four years into its life. That's nuts. But the gadget's now into its fifth year. Its fifth year? What? I thought it was four years. Okay, whatever. Um, the gaming community speculated about this for a long time with the OLED display, but Nintendo stayed mum. Shintaro Furukawa said in February, they have no plans to announce a new Switch anytime soon. Anytime soon could mean like this week, next week, next month, two months. Like they never comment on anything until they're good and ready. So Samsung's involvement is the strongest indication that they're serious. The OLED panel will consume less battery Higher contrast, possible faster response time when compared to the current liquid crystal display, said Yoshio Tomura, co-founder of Display Consultancy, DSCC, right, for short. February, Nintendo raised its annual forecast after a switch helped its company to its best quarterly earnings since 2008. That was a Wii era right there. Game Maker hopes to sustain that run in 2021 despite stiffening, com stiffening not stiffening, stiffening competition competition and an ebbing pandemic fucking pandemic has ruined everything nintendo decided to go with rigid oled panels for the new model people said a cheaper but less flexible alternative to the type commonly used for high-end smartphones so you know, they're going they're still taking some shortcuts right the latest model will come with 4k ultra high definition graphics when paired with the tv that supports it could intensify a long-standing complaint of developers who have struggled with the difference in resolution between handheld and TV modes now face a bigger gap between the two, that could pose some concerns. Like, how are you you're producing 720p content in handheld mode? So you got to figure that shit out. 720p on the go, but we want our games to look beautiful on the big screen. 4K. How are developers supposed to deal with that? Interesting. Interesting. So you know, there's not much else to this. Uh, you know, freaking article, but I just wanted to comment on it. it. Does Oh, it does mention down here, the switch 6.2 inch and the lights 5.5 inch display. I think the, the light looks pretty awesome, but there's been like weirdness. We have several switch lights and all of them. The screen looks different. One has a yellow tint. The other one's bright as fu. I don't know, man. Hopefully with these OLEDs, it'll be nice. New switch is likely to support a thinner bezel. That could be cool. So we'll have to wait and see. I really do think that they're going to go the route of like, there's the Switch Pro games, but like there's going to be games that could be played between every console, but there's going to be specific things that are like limit pushers like for the Switch Pro or whatever they wind up calling it, the Super Switch. I don't know. There's going to be games, I feel, that will only play on the new Switch, and then there will be games that play for, you know, all the Switch models, but then that's going to pose a lot of challenges to companies out there to deal with, you know, the differences between the models, right? 
we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. But really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this little, you know, talking about shit video. Appreciate y'all. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom.